The Memorial Act exhibit was absolutely magnificent because you took the experience of the African slave trade and, and you preserved it so accurately, you know, to show um, a people who came from the Empire of Benin, right, before it was Nigeria, before it was Ghana, before it was cut up into all of these different countries by the, the, by the, 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 the colonizer, that you took the story and you preserved it so magnificently for any person that has compassion and the capacity to intellectualize uh, the, the presentations that you, the, the presentation evokes such compassion. And it doesn't only evoke compassion, it evokes a better understanding of why we see, you know, when you go into communities of, of people of color and you see such destitute, such, um, you understand why there is the destitute, that it's not inherent destitute, but that it was because of the, the 400 years of this global system. Well, you know, I would like to first say that I'm really so enamored and grateful to Christelle for publishing and for her company, um, Roots Editions, to publish this book. This is one of my favorite books that I wrote. I, wrote this, I have five books. This is the book that I, it's a beautiful children's illustrated book. And it's written so that young children can open a book and see a beautiful reflection of themselves. What was important to my father's parents was the uh, was self love, right? So you understand who I am. Um, was compassion and care for others, for the earth, and was literacy and leadership, so that we see each other as a reflection of one another. And and if I see you in sorrow or or challenged, that I have compassion and care to help you. And so that is why this little boy was able to grow up and become Malcolm X, one of the most brilliant uh, human rights strategists of present day. So that is why I wrote the book for children. Life for my father um, was the same as life for all of us and, and anyone his age, you know, that he, he started from a beautiful family. His parents were compassionate activists that they instilled in their children the importance of self-love, you know, knowing who you are, where you come from, so that you can love others and that you can help others. And if you see anyone being treated harshly and unjustly, especially when you understand that it's a systemic problem, that you rise to the occasion looking for solutions. I enjoy all process of the writing because I like to, you know, I have a great imagination, you know, and, and I have good, I feel, insight. And to be able to go back to that time where he was and see and feel and imagine what he was going through and how to articulate that in paper so that the reader enjoys the story and feels like they're in the story. So I like all processes of it. And for this story I wrote by myself, but many of the stories that I write, I have a young adult, a middle school and so forth, I usually go for um, you know, um, professional expert writers, novelists to, to work with to make sure that we can put together the best story possible. Okay. 
Well, believe it or not, my, my, well, my father was gunned down um, when I was not three years old. So my memories are from a child's perspective. Um, you know, I remember that he always had a happy smile. I remember he has beautiful teeth and I remember him smiling and the stuff on his face. Um, I remember a beautiful chair, a beautiful doll that he gave me, you know, beautiful brown doll that looked like me and also a beautiful rocking chair, you know, that was blue and white. But my mother, she made sure that we understood who our father was and that she kept his stories and everything alive so that you know, we felt happy and we knew that our daddy loved us and that, that our daddy didn't leave us. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. And then I'll just go.